You know, now that, I'm, now that I'm looking at this list, is this a mistake? Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. Today, we are finally starting one of, if not the most requested series on this channel ever. One that I have been actually quite excited to start. One Piece. I don't know a single thing about One Piece, but I've been excited to start it just because I love pirate stuff. And to my knowledge, that's, that's the gist of this. Finally, I have a reason to have this. I bought those three as a combo. I love One Punch Man, I love Naruto, and now it makes sense to have Luffy there. But I'm gonna stop rambling, let's do this. If you're new to the channel, you're here at a perfect time because we're kicking the series off, but drop a sub, hit that big boy bell so you don't miss any of this series. I'm going to start off doing two episodes per video, but I might up it to three eventually. I know a lot of you are gonna ask for that, but nonetheless, let's get started with our first episode of One Piece. Gold Roger. Okay, yes, this is from the intro. Yeah, so that's what everybody's looking for. And then they kill the man. And then everybody is just searching for it. And isn't that the One Piece? Great pirate area. Yeah, okay, this is the intro I reacted to. I don't know, is One Piece like known for its intros? It is It is a banger though. And I know that Luffy, like his ability is that he, he, he like stretches. Like that's what he does, I don't know. Okay, those are quite the interesting uh, animals. I will say one of the things I'm most excited about to start this series is like just the character designs in general. I know that's what One Piece is inherently known for is really over the top, like especially villain designs. So I, I'm I'm getting myself into quite the show. I'm gonna go back to my my first reaction to this intro as well too. Eventually, see what I kind of predicted. I'm not about to skip the intro, especially because this is a good intro. All right, here we go. Start in One Piece. Never thought I'd see the day. Okay quickly is it gonna throw us into this oh bounced against the ship the man is gonna be king of the pirates when i'm starting this i believe it is up to episode 997 i'm interested to see how far i can get oh my gosh is this on the ship yes yeah, this is on the ship yeah i'm gonna take a stab and say luffy's in there Oh, he's definitely in that. His first guess is booze. Okay, dude. Oh, he knows. Oh. They're being infiltrated. Oh, no, it's straight up just from the ship. He doesn't know he's in there. Oh, he's 100% in there. Oh, no, the party. It's ruined. Oh, is she? Uh, is she uh, infiltrating as well? Now, this ship did not look that big on the outside. Yeah, she definitely... I think she's a member of the crew. I was wondering if she was, like, not a part of it yet. And this is how it happened. But it looks like she's infiltrated as well. Oh, no! Our ship. It's broken. <laughs> Alvita something? Oh, gosh. <laughs> what? This is what I already mean by over-the-top villain design. Like she's wearing like 30 different things. That's a lot of damage. Okay, if, if Luffy isn't in there, I'm gonna be shocked. Maybe it's a red herring. <laughs> that thing's drifting! My god! Oh gosh, she's scared of it. She seemed confident what was going on. Iron Club Alvida. The woman pirate, that's her whole title? Are there not that many women pirates? This poor kid Kobe, bro. How did this child find his way into this situation? Kobe, no! <laughs> oh no, Kobe, just run away, bud. Oh, she gonna kill him! Run, Kobe! Oh. Oh. Well, that's her own fault. Oh, your valuables. That is quite the forehead. Oh, pirate costume revealed. Oh, Kobe's gonna find Luffy. This poor child. Is he a kid or is he just like a young looking adult? Oh. 
I'm a new recruit. Oh, straight to the point. Coward. Again, this has happened before. Oh, gosh. Where is he? We finally seeing him? This is going to come out first. He's really winding up. <laughs> Wait, how does he have so much power? He was asleep. I mean, he's knocked him out with one blow. <laughs> First thing I know, I actually never noticed the little scar under his eye. That's 1000% a story, but. Yeah, I don't think you stand a chance here, guys. Protect the child, Kobe. Wait, he broke the blades like by hitting it? What? Quite the introduction. I just want to know how he got these powers, which I mean, over the course of a thousand episodes, I assume we learn. <laughs> He's like, why are they running away? <laughs> Luffy is quite confident in himself. I'm guessing he has lots of experience fighting pirates. <laughs> oh my God, you killed Kobe. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. <laughs> Wait, does Kobe become a part of the crew? I don't think I've ever seen him in like promo stuff or anything. Escapes? Oh, so Luffy's ship got swallowed. Wait, he just jumped in a barrel and slept? It was just luck that he hit that ship? He doesn't consider himself one. That fateful day. Oh, he's roped into it. Poor Kobe. Oh, gosh. Oh, unfortunate. <laughs> he is, yeah. Kind of getting a sense for who Luffy is. Oh. Luffy! That's so mean! I'd be scared of Alvina Sama too. The pointy shoes. Oh man, she looted that bad boy. They're gonna warn her about Luffy. They're calling him a monster! Oh, it's just Luffy. Ooh, yeah, bad choice of words. Uh, that dude's just dead, actually. Oh, they're all dead. Oh, is this like the intercut card? I like it. Oh, I've seen those wanted posters too. That's like a big thing. I'm guessing they make quite the names for themselves. Kobe, join the crew. It's <laughs> a good question. Ah, uh, yes. Simple undertaking. <laughs> yeah. Hey, pirates come in all shapes and sizes. Oh, he has no crew? Oh, okay. So this is like origin, origin, origin. I figured he'd have a couple people already and we get introduced to some. He's like, yep. <laughs> the One Piece. You just can't do it. Why not? You just saw him obliterate those two guys without even trying. It's about trying. That's cold, bro. Because I want to. Oh, dang. Quite the task, though. Yo, recruit Kobe. I know he's not that brave, but still. Oh. Oh, he wants to join the Navy. <laughs> well, you're kind of just chilling with a bunch of them. Sure, kid. I love how straightforward Luffy is. Oh, he just called her Alvida. Is that going to be her? I thought she's going to come busting through. Oh, shoot. Luffy versus Alvida. We already got ourselves a fight, baby. I like the music. Oh, gosh. 
Oh, Zoro's a recognizing. I, I recognize that name too. I think he's a part of the crew. <laughs> you, Amina, you! Big Chunky! Oh. Even though, like, my god. Oh, yikes. Well, I feel like Luffy's just gonna straight up roll her. Oh, he's taking Kobe with him. Hell yeah, I didn't think he would. I thought he was just gonna dip. He's not even gonna fight her either. He hasn't really shown his stretchiness yet. Although that punch looked like it was really far. He just looks kind of agile at this point. Kobe has so much confidence in him. So wait, what if he gets stabbed? Does it not matter? I wanna know his like limitations and whatnot. I imagine it makes him seem like really OP at first. Oh, here. Yeah, this is where we finally see him stretch. It's like, this doesn't make sense. Because he's definitely not just like a human. That uh, gets him every time. Gum gum. Oh, it's a move. Gum gum rocket. A rubber person. Oh, yeah, you know, just a rubber person. Oh. Oh. So he ate a fruit and got those powers from it. Is she gonna try to recruit him? Dang, even though he called her chunky, I thought her ego would be too crushed. Meanwhile, she's just heisting this entire ship. He's just so small. He's like, ah, it's no biggie. See how he isn't wavering. Kobe's like, oh, yeah, that's right. He will literally fight anyone. Get her ass, Kobe, let's go! Rolled her! My man's found a new sense of confidence. He's not confident in Luffy. He's like, if I want to be in the Navy, I have to have the same amount. I love how Luffy is just tickled by it. <laughs> Luffy's still laughing. Oh, dang, son. Luffy's just happy for him. Now I'll defend him. Did he just bounce off of him? Okay, we're getting even more of a sense of his limitations. Bro, how do you even, like, take Luffy down then? If you just hit him with a giant club like that, it just bounces off. He stretches so far. He just slingshots it back. <laughs> Damn. Wait, he pushed her? Gum gum pistols when he pulls it all the way back and, like, slingshots it. It's more like a whip or a slingshot, yeah. Oh, I'd be so scared of him too, bro. Oh, okay. I like how it's already setting it up for like this Kobe character to come back one day. <laughs> Go give him your application now. Oh, I thought it was going to fall on her. I wonder if she's a part of Luffy's crew. I know there's one, two girls in his crew from the pictures I've seen. Oh, he's just going with Luffy. The Grand Line. Oh, it's like a part of the ocean. Oh, Zoro. Mm. Now we start building the team, baby. Oh, gosh. I'm gonna go to find him. <laughs> I mean, technically, Luffy's labeled a bad guy since he's a pirate. Who knows? Oh, shoot. Oh. Is that him? That guitar, bro! Oh, shoot. Our first episode of One Piece has concluded. Very solid first episode, might I add. So we're introduced to Luffy, the main character, of course. Got a, kind of a general idea of his personality. And also, like I said, kind of sowing the seeds for this kid. Kind of sowing the seeds for this kid, Kobe. And like I said, I don't know how long he's going to stay with Luffy. Again, I don't think I've ever seen him in any promo pictures or anything. So I imagine he'll turn into like a recurring character of sorts. But now we have this very set objective of Luffy. Luffy building his crew, which I assume we're going to check out in episode two. But nonetheless, very solid first episode. Let's uh, let's keep this train going. He's learned quite a bit being a pirate already, despite not wanting to be a pirate. Wait, so if he's a pirate hunter, why would Luffy want to try to recruit him? 
Also, I know all the episode titles in One Piece are hella long for some reason. I like the city design. It's such early animation, but it's still so cozy. <laughs> He's gonna analyze him. Everybody's like, why the hell are you looking for Zoro, bro? If he's the way that people describe him, a demon. Captain Morgan. They scared of Morgan too? Huh. Yeah, I was gonna say, is he part of the Navy? Why would they be scared of him too? <laughs> he's finally made it, little Kobe. Luffy's not about goodbyes, I guess. He's out being like tortured or something. Just left in the heat. He's watching him like an animal in a zoo. I think he has been tortured. Aramaki. <laughs> They're just gonna break him out? Kobe can't be a part of this. Yeah, I mean, it's not like he's doing this. Not thinking he could take him on. There's no security anywhere, bro. What? Is that a child? Is she gonna break him out? <laughs> Stop her! Aww. Do you wanna get killed? He'll literally just snap you, bro. Aww. She's so adorable. Oh. Wait, was it just like a bait? I'm guessing that's Captain Morgan. Oh god, that hair. Oh, they're about to find out why people don't like Captain Morgan, if that is him. You animal! She made those with love! Someone kick his ass, please! You're gonna execute her. Oh, okay, this is Morgan's son. He seems a tad spoiled, not gonna lie. Bro. Yo, Luffy really gotta step in, right? This poor child! He said, duck and roll again! Oh my god, he did it! <laughs> I thought they were gonna stop him before. Thank you, Luffy. He actually just yoinked her. <laughs> Dude, I hate this guy's hair so much. He just annoys me just existing. They leave him out there for a month? So like I said, there's no security, bro. I guess no one would be dumb enough to try to break him out. <laughs> <laughs> it's about the mental, baby. You're one to talk, Luffy. Oh, wow. I'm surprised he pushed Zigo aside to ask for it. What was that music? Oh, he's really happy to eat finally. Aww. Nah, he doesn't seem that bad. Uh, I was wondering why this child wanted to give him food. El Meppo? Pet Sama? Oh my god, that is not adorable. That is terrifying. Bro, is Captain Morgan as evil as his son? I hope not. Gosh, this guy's the worst. Oh, and then Zoro got in the way. He knows. That man's got three swords? I'm guessing if Zoro, like, hurt him, even remotely, he would be hunted down to the ends of the earth. Oh, he did hurt him. Damn. Zoro's kind of badass. I love it. Why does he have three blades, though? Yeah. 
Yeah, his dad definitely uh probably has wants nothing to do with him, so he just lets him do whatever he wants. Mm. Well, I'm surprised he actually said yes. The way they described him would seem like he has like sort of an ego. But I mean, I guess he protected her, so that's pretty respectable. I won't even lie. Hell Meppo. That's a terrible name. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's the girl! Oh, ain't no way. Oh my. Oh my god! Yo, that away awakened something in Luffy! <laughs> what the hell? I didn't peg him for something, someone that would lose their cool like that. Yeah, for real. Oh shoot. I, he heard that story about Zoro helping them and realized there's a good side of him, so he, he will. Oh, here's Captain Morgan. Oh, yeah, this guy's not. This guy's gonna be unbearable. I can already tell. Oh, gosh. Yeah, his son's actions make sense now, then. Daddy, daddy. I'm very impressed that they already introduced a villain so unlikable. I, I would be so happy if he died already. Like, that's a good villain. I want to cheer against him, you know? Yes. Ooh, Zoro flashback. <laughs> Little baby Zoro. <laughs> I love how he just pops up standing there. He's like, I'll let you go if you join. Yeah, I was going to say, he doesn't want to be a pirate. So how does he convince him? <laughs> He's just like, it's a different kind of evil. So does Luffy like rob people straight up? <laughs> He's like, I've decided for you. <laughs> He'll go get it for him. Yeah, prove his loyalty in a sort of way. He's like impressive. Oh no, he was just getting a little bit of a boost. I don't think I can take gum gum seriously, bro. <laughs> I swear this guy. Oh, damn. I mean, it's got an ax for a hand. Yeah, dude, I was going to say, this is why he just lets him do whatever he wants because he can't stand him. This guy's crazy looking. The like metallic jaw or whatever. What the hell? Why is his elbow like that? That is so gross. Ooh, you're dead. Yeah, you are actually dead. At least he used the blunt side. <laughs> Bigger number, better person. Okay. He's a badass looking villain, though. I won't even lie. His scream! Oh gosh, Luffy, no. Oh, he's about to murder him. Oh no, he overshot it! Oh. He just says, sorry. So this whole gum gum fruit is very well known, I'm guessing. <laughs> He's just looking for Zoro's swords, bro. Oh no, is it the little girl? Wait, it's not Kobe, is it? Oh, there's... What is her plan? He's just dragging him! He left him in his room? He got little muskets? He's got a hostage. Um, He's realized that this branch at least is corrupted. Tell him, Kobe. Kobe, maybe you should rethink being uh, in the Navy. Well, he's going to want to get his swords back, I'd assume, either way, so. 
Luffy san will take care of you. Nah, I have a lot. I, I may have, maybe I have like overconfidence in Luffy after seeing him absolutely obliterate. Oh shoot! My room with the flowers. All three. Need to get down there. Is it finished untying him? Get back down there, Luffy. Straw hat kid. Yeah, Luffy's just gonna go flying in. Because okay, this is Zoro's main character development plot point. Go! Yeah, so bullets straight up do nothing. Oh, they bounce because he's rubber. Dude, Luffy's so OP. I love how he just demonstrated to Zoro how powerful he is like right away too. Monkey D. Luffy. This is how he always does his introductions. Well, well, our first two episodes of One Piece kick off really well. I mean, the pacing is pretty solid uh, up until this point. I would imagine it's pretty good at the start and it can go through like slow periods. But nonetheless, Luffy a very likable MC so far. And like I said, I, I mean, it's it's already introduced uh, several villains. El Mepo and his dad both being very unlikable. And like I said, you either need a villain that you absolutely hate and want to see lose or one that you can kind of understand, relate to, and maybe feel bad for very solid introduction to the anime i hope you guys enjoyed my first sort of experience slash reaction to it again i'm starting off with two per video but if you want to see three per video which i know most are going to want to and with that being said i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day as per usual and i'll catch you in the next one peace peace